Hello everyone, welcome to bimodel.com. In this video tutorial, we will be learning how to create the sanitary systems in the toilets. I have placed all the equipments which are fixtures, WCs, urinals and sinks. Some of the drains are there in the floor. You can check that in 3D. We have a couple of pipes and the fixtures. Going back to the floor plan, you'll be able to draw these pipes in 3D or in plan view or in section. What I will do is I will try to draw a sanitary pipe from this place to the other end to connecting both the rooms and we'll be drawing a vent pipe in this corner. And the sinks drainage will be laid out in this place under the floors. So we have to draw a pipe for the system and take the pipe. Pipe size could be 100 millimeter. It is going to be drawn in this place. It is showing in blue color, means we have to change the system color as sanitary. The pipe height, if you see, is at 2 meter. We have to draw this at lower level, say minus 500. When we draw a sanitary pipe out in the minus level, the rivet won't allow us to show below the level. We have to scroll down in the property of the view, view range, edit the view range, and we have to see the pipe underneath, change the level depth to minus 500. Apply the setting, and we'll be able to see the pipe. And select OK. And if you need, if you don't want any confusions, you can create the section view on the other side. Flip the section that I need it the other direction. Open the section view. Now you'll be able to see the pipe a single line. You can change this fine to coarse, coarse to fine, and you'll be able to see it clear. Now you'll be able to draw a sanitary pipe here by manually say take the pipe from here and you'll be able to draw it like this or you can select and right click on this place and draw pipe draw like this we have another option for the floor plan we have drawn it in this place so try and select it connect into and we are trying to connect a 100 millimeter flow out pipe which is sanitary to this pipe while connecting like this manually it doesn't have enough space to connect with this pipe reason for the elbows we don't have enough spaces so try i'm going to try and draw a pipe in the flow plan right click draw a pipe I'm going to draw it in an angle and this time I'm going to use inherent elevation, inherent size. I'll try and draw it in 30 degree like this. Picture got changed into a green color reason we are connecting with the sanitary. And if I check the pipe height for drawing, you'll be able to see that this is in minus 168 we need minus 500 use the trim and extend command t or or t e in my case trim extend select the pipe and connect it now if you check this in 3d we have drawn it words like this underneath the flow connected with this side. We need to add a cap to the end. Select the pipe, 
you can tap the end. In a similar way, we'll be able to connect with these fixtures for the floor plan. Select the fixture. If you are saying connect into and select the pipe, it won't be connecting. Reason you don't have enough space because the system doesn't understand that we have to connect it in diagonal or in some other directions. We will be able to manually able to connect it by clicking this icon and say inherit elevation. Draw it in an angle. Select the pipe. Change the height as minus five hundred. Bring an extend. Now we can draw another pipe from here. Create similar three S. Or go to the system. Take the pipe. We need to draw a pipe which is bent. Event system and here, and we will be able to need it to draw it upwards. Change the height from minus 500 to say maybe 4000, 4 meter, and we will be able to draw that. You won't be able to see it, there is a black line. If you check that in 3D, we have. Pipe which is running up. Now we will be able to use a section or uh, select the elbow, click the plus mark to drop the sanitary water which is from this place to the downwards and go to the even section. You will be able to see them clearly the pipe which is going downward. You can draw a pipe. We can modify this later. We can continue with the other systems if we want. Once you have done this connection, we will be able to go to the other side and create the pipe minus 500 from this place to the this end. Use the trim and extend command, connect the pipe. And if you are trying to apply a slope value, you can apply a gravitational pipe. Slope, 1 is 200, finish. If you select the pipe, you will be able to see that the pipe which is running in 1 is 200, all the way along. Even you can apply the slope to this pipe also. Select the equipment or the fixture and say connect into pipe, which we are trying to connect is 40 millimeter sanitary system. Click. I'm checking that in 3D whether it is, is it connected properly. Yes, it is. But do remember we have to connect to a, a sanitary system which is need to be a U trap. Or S trap that depends on the system requirement. You have to connect a fixture in this place. You can select the component, load family, India, pipe, fittings, PVC, schedule 40, type, P trap, I'm waiting for any other trap, traps, yes, trap, nothing. Let me go with P trap, load it. If you are trying to place it, so that wise a pipe place it, placing positions. Place it. it will be placed on the top or bottom. 
So we have to break this pipe. So I will be using officially a split command like this and disconnect the pipe. Close the system, select pipe fitting, connect it. We need it to rotate it to the other direction. Use this arrow, rotate it. Go to the flow plan, use the section, disconnect it because we need more spaces. I'll try to connect with this. Go to the flow plan. Use the trim and extend. We are connected. You will be able to select this pipe, drag it into the other direction, like say 135 means 45 degree. Use the trim and extend command. And we don't have enough space, we can make it to 30 degree. We'll be able to connect it like this. In a similar way, we can connect with the other sink and dry places. Rock pipe. Inherit elevations, or you can simply type minus 500. And I'll try it and use the connect into option for the sanitary. Select the file. That's it. So this is how you will be able to connect your plumbing systems and I will be living with this and I will be uploading this file to bimodeler.com. You can download this file work and you will be able to have this with the other end and you can connect your systems and practice it. If you have any comments or queries, you can leave your comments below. I will be able to address it as question and answer. So thank you so much for watching and see you on the next report.